So there is an alternative to this classical laboratory technique by using gas chromatography. Uh, Cyan has two GC platforms, uh, 436 GC and the 456 GCs. Both GCs can be used in this application for SimDist. The 436 is small and compact uh, GC. It's limited to one detector and two injectors. It's good for cramped labs. It's very compact and for dedicated analysis. Otherwise, we have the larger GC. It can uh, accommodate more detectors and injectors, three of each. Um, and also the column oven size is almost twice the depth of the little uh, 436. Uh, both ovens, uh, they can accommodate the seven inch uh, GC cages, you use traditional uh, nut and ferrule connectors. So you can use uh, columns from, not just from Cyan, which we do sell, but other uh, manufacturers sell. So if you've got some old uh, traditional columns that you want to use, um, they'll fit in both the 436 and the both 456. GC. So it's fully automated, um, there's high precision, high repeatability, very reliable, it's a lot safer. The, the small sample volumes are going to be used. We're going to put on, um, you could use two mil vials. So again, you've gone down from 100 mils to uh, only two mil vials. So for GC software, um, in addition to the hardware, we've got software to operate, control the GC, to acquire the data. Uh, we can use uh, the Compass's uh, Science Compass CDS to do that. And now, once we've got our data files, we're going to use a plugin uh, to the software, to our software. It's uh, the Eclipse Picture Reporter plugin that we'll use for the SimDist and the DHG analysis. Uh, underneath all Underneath, the, underneath this is underpinned by a Microsoft SQL server uh, that's running in the background. So from the for the two samples that we're going to get, we're going to run on one application, uh, the SimDist application, and we're going to run a second sample on another GC to do, do the DHA analysis that will produce a short SimDisk curve that will incorporate into the main uh, SimDisk curve you can see here. And um, so the software behind it does this for you. Um, it will work out the SimDisk curves um, and we'll combine them together into one report. This is what the plugin is doing uh, behind Compass. So here we have the plot on the left hand side Black chromatogram is the blank subtracted chromatogram for the SimDisk sample. And overlay it in this deeper black line is the boiling point distribution curve from the SimDisk sample. And to get more accuracy on the lower boiling points, we've run separately a DHA analysis. And from that DHA analysis, we've exported out on the blue line is the boiling point curve from the DHA analysis. So from the whole crude oil sample, from the blue through to the black is the whole crude oil um, distribution, uh, boiling point distribution, going from all the way down to the low boiling point, all the way up to over 700 degrees Celsius here. Um, and we are getting a recovery up to over 95, about 95% recovery, as we can see here on the chart. In addition, to, obviously, the chart, the software will uh, produce a PDF report. Um, it can tabulize the results for you. Um, it can do a cut point report or a distribution report for you. And it is a combined report. It might be a bit small uh, to see on your screen. Well, it lists the calibration file used the uh, solvent blank that's been used with user response and also list the DHA sample that's been combined in this report. Um, so this report can be given out as a PDF and it can also be exported as an Excel uh, format. <laughs> 